Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on combining like terms. You can collect and combine like terms to rewrite the expression with fewer numbers, variables, and operations. When simplifying algebraic expressions, put all the variables in alphabetical order and the terms in descending order. And basically what you do is you look at the um, exponent and you put it in descending order, the greatest exponent first. Uh, and then the constant is always last. So let's go ahead and combine like terms. We have PQ, <coughs> which are like terms. The P is not the same, nor is the P squared. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's combine these like terms. Negative 5 and negative 3 becomes negative 8PQ. Let's bring everything else down. There's no other like terms, so now let's go ahead and put it in descending order. So the uh, largest exponent, this is 2, this is 1, and this is 1 also. Here's your constant. So I'm going to go negative p squared. Then I'm going to go in alphabetical order. I'm going to go plus p. Then I'm going to go negative 8pq. And then I'm going to place the constant last. So here is the first example. Let's work another example. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next example. We have uh, 5x squared y, negative 3x squared y, negative 5 plus 7x cubed. So it looks like the only like terms are right here, the 5 and the 3x squared y. So let's go ahead and combine the, them. A 5 uh, and a minus 3 or a negative 3 would be 2x squared y. I'll bring down the 5 and the 7x cubed. So now what we can do is we've simplified all the terms. We need to put it in descending order. First, uh, based on the exponent, and then it would go in alphabetical order. So uh, this is cubed, so let's write it first, 7x cubed, and then we have a um, this is squared, so we're going to have a 2x squared y, and then the constant will be last. So there we go. Thanks for watching.